name is Gerald Dickens. I'm a great great grandson to Charles Dickens, and I'm here at Nordicus and Dickens Christmas Town to herald the, the second year of this incredible event, which celebrates London Christmas that Charles Dickens wrote about. And it's so exciting to be back here and to be part of this this great project. It is a walk-through, immersive Victorian London. Like the feeling you get when you come in here is just incredible. To be able to, to stand on stage and to perform just a brief, uh, for a brief time to the, the students from Governor's School was, was very exciting. Who came upon him so quickly that this was the first instant Scrooge had of his approach. Bah, said Scrooge, humbug, Christmas, a humbug, Uncle. You don't mean that, I'm sure. I do. What is Christmas time to you? but a time for paying bills with no money. Hmm. A time for finding yourself a year older but not an hour richer. If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with many Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and fed it with a snake of holly through his heart. He should, uncle nephew. We brought our department out here today to see Mr. Dickens perform and he was amazing. He definitely seems so motivated and like passionate about what he's doing. Just like the classic take, like what down to what Charles Dickens actually had it as, and then to see his great great grandson perform it, it just it's so classic. You know, they're all keen, young, ambitious actors and performers, and I've been doing this for for 20 odd years now. So if something I say can just touch a nerve somewhere and and maybe inspire or give a little bit of advice or something. It's very, very important. I really, I really like this set a lot. It's very extravagant and detailed and beautiful, and I just think it all comes together really nicely. There's Christmas trees and there's wreaths hanging everywhere. It's, it's pretty cool. It's really beautiful. All the shops. It looks. It feels like you're in a real uh, Dickens-esque uh, Victorian village. It's lovely. It really is. The detail that was put into all of these buildings. It's amazing. The whole idea of this is that in the 21st century, people can just come and 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 do whatever they want here. There's no formal museum structure or timetabling structure. It's just everybody can have their own fun. So Nauticus wanted to bring something very, very special to downtown Norfolk. So, so here we are, we come full circle in, in the Nauticus Centre. We recreated what, what Dickens himself knew. It's, it's, it's very exciting. It, it's a great tribute to Charles Dickens because this is the sort of thing he would love. He loved theatre, he loved things to be larger than life, he loved to entertain. So, so to have crowds and thousands and thousands of people coming through this exhibit, oh my word, look at that, <laughs> it's all London town, is, 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 is just such a great tribute to what he achieved with, uh, with The Christmas Carol and all his other works. And I'm definitely going to come back. Yeah, I'm going to bring her. <laughs> We're really lucky. You know, what we've done is, I think, create a new tradition for downtown Norfolk. Uh, we had over 25,000 people come last year, and that's why we're bringing it back. This is Dickens' Christmas Town. It is a new downtown Norfolk tradition. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, every one. Thank you.